The EV3 has a built-in menu system that allows you to run programs, check sensors, and adjust settings like volume and the auto sleep timer. To turn on the brick, press the dark gray center button. This may take up to 20 seconds. When the colored lights on the front of the EV3 turn green, the robot is ready to go. The EV3 menu system works using the buttons on the front of the EV3 brick. The four directional buttons move the selection on the screen, the center button selects options, and the back button in the upper left goes back. For instance, to adjust the volume on the brick, you would use the right button to move the selected tab over to the settings tab, press the center button to select the volume setting, and then use the left and right buttons to change the volume. You could then press the center button again to save your selection, or back to cancel it. The first screen that appears when you start up the EV3 is the Run Recent menu. It shows all the programs that have been run recently on the EV3. Selecting a program and hitting the center button will run the program again immediately. The most recently run program will always be at the top. This is handy if you have multiple programs with the same name. The second tab along the top is File Navigation. It shows a list of projects and other files that may be loaded onto your EV3. This list is sorted alphabetically. Projects usually contain at least one program. You can open a project by navigating to it with the direction buttons, then pressing Center to open it. You can then run any of the programs that may be contained inside. The third tab is Brick Apps, which contains a number of useful programs. The most commonly used will probably be Port View, which allows you to see what is currently plugged into each port on the EV3 and what sensor or rotation value it is currently seeing. Finally, the fourth tab contains settings for volume, the battery saving auto sleep timer, and other features on the brick. To turn the brick off, just press the back button until the shutdown dialog appears, then select checkmark.